Unfortunately, not really the kind of place where you would expect civil servants to be working. But coming in now, it's like there's a breath of fresh air. Yeah. So tell us about that. That's you know. Yeah, it's still in line with um, what I told you mm -hmm. about what this guy been uh, what we are doing now. You start to count the uh, landmark project. Of course, the, the secretary was on tops. So we have been um, major renovation here. Um, we modeled it. When we finish, I'll show you the model. Okay. Uh, and they're building towards that model. Um, if you look at the first one, they have, they have worked you know, inside. They're now outside, painting the, you know, the outside of the building. Here, if you, you observe it, when you are coming up, you see a whole lot of ball ties here and there. So they've been changing you know, the fittings, the electrical installation. It's a massive one. The doors, the formularies, the ties, you know. It's, and it's, it's going to be every everywhere, office. Every office this here. This is a massive secretariat. I know I don't know how many offices are in one building, but one building alone is large. And then you have three of such buildings inside That's here. why I said and this. It's every office. Every office. Room. Okay. Every office. Uh, when they finish, I'm sure people will think um, that maybe the government has selected a secretariat. The contract and the project, total renovation of the old secretary building by the number of the government. The pre out of this uh, uh, secretary building is something is happening at, at them at the same time. Total renovation, total renovation. You can see the building is highly dilapidated, built about 25 years ago. And this is the major renovation work that is taking place since it was constructed. And the government of Anambra State is taking absolute care of everything that is happening inside now. There is partitioning, there is painting, there is total electrical, electrical works, plumbing works. In fact, total renovation work is taking place in the whole place now. You can look at the whole building, you can go around, you see that we started from the outside. We have reached almost 50% completion. The painting is ongoing, the electrical is ongoing. All these things are being done by the state government. It's about uh, two weeks or three weeks now we started the project. And we had a kind of a progress report meeting yesterday. And on that meeting, the ministry discovered that we have gone up to 50%. And I'm believing with this movement, uh, the way we're moving now, in the next one month, if all things work well, we deliver this project down about the government. But I know it is very dear to the excellency. Uh, a lot of uh, renovation going on. Just like the, uh, the Honorable Commissioner said, the whole makeup of the whole thing. We're changing the whole uh, complex, remodeling it and bringing it to to the current date because it has been long since it was built. Had no, no, no renovation had taken place. And then the whole thing has gone bad. So His Excellency, the Governor, said that this should have to be the model you know, renovated. So give comfort to civil servants who are really working inside that place. And that's why I can see the whole lot of activities going on. All the uh, remodeling of the place, the renovation, both the building, on buildings, on uh, landscaping outside. And that's what we have witnessed. So you can see that's the, the, the massive uh, renovation I told you about going on, on in the Secretariat. That's the old Secretariat building. You know, you can see that they are almost done outside. I mean, they are almost done inside. They are now, you know, doing the outside uh, uh, painting. So if you look around, you can see the massive network going around because um, the landscaping is going on and you know the, the the work on the buildings too so everything is a total is a total renovation 
everything is going on at the same time. You know, the same thing is um, happening a couple of other places. Um, um, at the ABS, we are doing I that on the I, Express, an yes. iconic gate there. And um, I'm happy to tell you that uh, because of how beautiful that gate is, um, the Housing Corporation, you know, that is along that stretch, you know, have also awarded to do that. Oh, okay. And, uh, we are trying to <laughs> extend it to that uh, listed library. Can I get Yes, can I get a library? So that okay, over so time you have all those beautiful, beautiful listed Yes, aesthetic view. Uh, hey, along that stretch. That's great. That's stretch, interesting. You know, and not only that, uh, we are also about to award a contract to do. I know you will like this. Uh, Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> to do the 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 main uh, APS building oh, office. I will absolutely love that. The yes. main office. Yes. And it's going it's to necessary. be another icon. It's, it's necessary. And my joy is the contractors that we're using and the Ministry of White, you know, capable to ensure the guy will executed uh, within the, the time. time. So and is it a, a place will look, you know, what it's supposed to be. So is it fair to say that this is just a series of other government agencies that will have a facelift? You know, we're doing the secretariat, then we're going to ABS. Now you've said out of cooperation is envious of our gates at ABS. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, so yeah. Is, is it would it be fair to say that um, in general a number um, you know government workers should expect to facelift in all the ministries, irrespective of whether they're the secretary of course, of course, I think I've said it before. Okay. Um, the, the government of today is not emotional when it comes to choosing projects. Mm -hmm. You know, we are highly um, objective. Um, we look at uh, its impactfulness, okay? And um, I can assure you that all these landmark economic projects are giving them 100% attention. But of course, you know that uh, building and construction is not something that you can procure. It's not procurement. Absolutely. So sometimes you don't, uh, you don't, you will not see something overnight. I know. You know it you takes time. Them, of yes, course, after a couple of months. You'll be seeing changes. But the most important thing mm -hmm. is, as long as you give contractors deadlines, mm -hmm. I think that's what most people are yes, worried about. Yes. People give deadlines and contractors don't give up. No, 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 no. We are very professional so here. We are very good. Well, blacklisted a lot of contractors. Okay. And they know some of them that are here now are very serious. Okay. Okay. When we have problem of work, we must stick to that. Okay. okay? And we supervise, you know, strictly. And then um, another thing I need to mention is that uh, the governor is doing the biggest NYSC orientation camp in this part of the world. Where they're located? It's where the old site is. Where it's uh, from it's at uh, okay. Zatimbao. Okay. It's massive. You need to go there. All the things you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. And, um, you know, very soon to be completed. Mm -hmm. I'll put it this. We are at uh, ABS uh, Oka. Uh, we are reconstructing the new gate and the perimeter fence for the new model ABC gate. Yes, uh, there has been an old gate that has been here. Then the, His Excellency wanted a new gate, and that is what we are constructing here now. Uh, the project is uh, expected to be delivered to Anambra people in less than, um, I can say, uh, eight weeks. Brighter, the only ones to make her better, the only